My name is Bjorn Sternberg. I'm one of the scientists working on the Canada School of Cultural Adaptation project. An artist, farmer and scientist walk into a bar. I'm working with my friend Mark Schwartz as a sculptor and some really inspiring regenerative farmers, Erica and Hayden. So my name's Mark Schwartz. I'm the artist in the project. Uh, I've been working with Bjorn and Erica and Hayden from Epicurean Harvest. Um, hi, I'm Erica and this is Hayden and we're uh, Epicurean Harvest in Hartley just west of the Blue Mountains. We have 120 acres and we farm on two and a half acres worth of vegetables and we sell directly to restaurants in Sydney. The project as a whole is really to try and figure out if there's a way that we can incorporate solar and energy into the farming system and the market garden that they have here. A lot of the work that I do um, is playing with organic matter or like organic forms and how they interact with the industrial elements. So this is a new side in terms of incorporating that with the technology of solar panels and how to incorporate those modules into an object that's still quite organic and fits in with the rest of the organic environment that they're going in. The artwork itself, the concept comes from Erica and Hayden's concept of their property as one integrated whole and that the sole energy input into their farm is sunlight. We really brought to the table an interesting perspective on um, the layering of solar energy within a landscape for example, so looking at different canopies and the uses of solar energy and shadow. The idea of the sculpture is that it captures sunlight to produce electricity and so to feed into the farm this whole integrated farm concept. Now the interesting thing that came about through the conversations that we had is that it's not a linear simple system. More is not always more. Sometimes plants don't want more sunshine, they actually want shade, which as a, a solar engineer you would think that's a bad thing. There's actually this mutual benefit that we can create where we maximise the solar energy captured in the integrated farm and create shade as a co-benefit for the plants. For both Mark and Bjorn, there was insight into what, what sunlight is and how it operates for us in our context and in a growing context and in a land-based context. There was a lot of talk about land management and about this idea of um, utilising all of the parts of the farm working together, incorporating the cows and the paddocks and the market garden all into one organism that is the property and is the land that it sits on. There's all of these different utility purposes for this particular artwork. Sometimes you can get a much better artwork out of it because there is more consideration. It can't just go from a first sketch to a finished product. It's an intensely creative collaboration. It's been really fun. We've been involved in three talks around the solar project. Uh, one on the farm with a whole bunch of people on a picnic day. There was one down in Sydney and one recently up in Bingara at the Groundswell Festival. Yeah, so I think it was great for people outside our farming community to be able to visit the farm. People from all sorts of different backgrounds, uh, creative backgrounds, all sorts of backgrounds to contextualise this project and, and bring these ideas together on the farm where you can actually be present in, in, in the project. We had an awesome meeting today, had about 50 people here and some conversations surrounding issues that Erica and Hayden face in terms of communicating where they're at as farmers and communicating how they want to manage their land. When things were really hard and we were actually struggling to explain how the drought was affecting us personally and as well as the farm and our surrounds, why we were drawn to art because we both saw that as a way of it being used to communicate actually without the words that we don't have. There's, mm. there's a whole central, central cortex of feeling that goes on that we don't have the words for to explain that communication that we need for connection to land. You often get reduced to words that don't mean enough. The beauty behind this sort of project is that it allows a dialogue that we as farmers don't necessarily get to have. Mark really brings a strong sense of wanting to communicate um, really beautiful principles about renewables and regenerative agriculture that can speak to more than just an artist but can speak to a farmer, a scientist and you know general public so that it's bringing together a great big interdisciplinary concept. I think there's been a great response to, to what we're doing and the ideas that we're trying to play with. It seems like a lot of people here today had either been facing those same issues or thinking about those same concepts and had a lot of ideas of how to help us 
bring together this, this, this idea that we're working on. One of my takeaways from this project has been a, a real appreciation of the process. In our the artist farmer scientist collaboration, artists I think are really tuned into the fact that it's their art practice rather than their art outputs as per se. Similarly, farmers, they're not thinking about the aim of growing one vegetable and then that's that. It's a continuous process for them of growing produce and keeping their farm in a state of health to then continue to grow more produce in future seasons. I think maybe scientists get a bit too focused on the outputs of an equation, a theory, a paper. And so this process of working with the artists and the farmer has been really good of, I think, focusing my attention personally on the process, which holds in science as well. That it's really about asking questions, asking meaningful, important questions. And then the long drawn out difficult process of answering those in collaborations with others over a long period. And really appreciating, I think, that that's the important thing and that's the, the thing to value. It's positively changed the way that we approach farming. I guess from a more creative perspective of what we do is a creative process. Every management decision we make is part of a creative process of us trying to effectively manage this land as best as we can.